Good day. Nicknames or? Oh yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Um, so, it's funny how we don't plan those out. Yeah. They should know us by now. Can you go too far with plastic surgery? Yes. Definitely. I showed y'all that one time there was like a guy that wanted to become Justin Bieber. I spent $180,000 and he looked like he just got worse. So if you have some like crazy ears that you want to fix, okay, 100%. The second right. you start looking like a blowfish, puffer fish, mm. look up. Then it's like, come on, brother. Like you got to fix some stuff internally. I feel like it could get excessive. Once you get into it, you get like mm. stuck in there. Step bro, help, I'm stuck. Exactly. Look, hey, Jubilee, plastic surgery. Give me on this fucking show or else. Side note, I DM'd him. He said, yeah, we could probably think about getting you on. Nothing, didn't get back to me. I thought like at seven mil subs, like somebody would care a little bit. And they even made a post. It was like, hey, what YouTuber should be in our next reaction? Everyone was tagging us. They ignored us. Just let me be behind the scenes. I don't care. I'll ask a question or something. <laughs> I was insecure about my breasts before I didn't like the size. And I went ahead, I I did it. I could never go back. You can't go back after that. Hi, I love my plastic surgery. I've had over 225 procedures. I had a lot of bad experiences, Oof. but I don't regret any of it. It's made me who I am. I have a recording uh, career now because of it. She said 200 plus. I don't regret any of it. I think the first thing that's hilarious about this is you have seemingly like the normal, just they just got the breast augmentation or whatever. Why they group them in with them? <laughs> Yeah, they should have maybe put people that have gotten so many surgeries all together to hear everybody's reasoning versus the ones that kind of just got one or two things done. Because then the girls that just got their tits done are looking at like, like I ain't this My girl. boob was just a little lopsided, so I had a little plastic surgery. I just cuts to her. I got 325. Face all blown up, can't even speak. <laughs> I don't regret nothing. I got a recording job because of it. Oh my lord, y'all. <laughs> you got to know what comes with looking like that. If she knows, hey, people are going to stare at me and think that I look like somebody different. Plastic woman. She walks into the doctor. What do you want now? <laughs> like, I need a little bit more of my lips. <laughs> Ma'am, you can barely speak. I was pretty before my surgery. They put it right in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> she blocked everybody. <laughs> Taking out the whole f***ing thing. I was beautiful. I've always been. I still am and I will be my whole life. This was just a little a little salt. She's bad. Did they give their Instagrams anything? I kind of agree with what you're saying, but at the same time- How I'm tall like, is she? <laughs> Damn, for real. Damn, you're seven feet tall. People should be open about their surgery. It's nobody's business, if, you know? It isn't, you know? Sometimes I'll tell people, well, you know, I guess I look like a walking plastic surgery doll, but- Wait, 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 wait. Now that doesn't make no sense. Sometimes I'll tell people, <laughs> I don't need to ask. I go for more of the discreet, you know, natural. Imagine you're Monique. Oh, um, and by the way, have you ever got any like body work done or anything? None of your business. <laughs> yeah, Monique, you got me there. That's proper information. Not the voice. Look, cause I ain't even hating on Monique. I'm just saying. You shouldn't be the one that disagrees <laughs> out of everybody there. I had a specific incident with this girl. She got her lips done, whatever. I don't give a damn. I said, oh, did you, did you, did you get anything done? She's like, no. Mm -mm. All bruised up. But what's wrong with saying, yeah, I did. I think the best thing is when you sometimes you can't tell mm -hmm. that somebody had something done. You can share it if you want to tell people, but a lot of times, motherfuckers already be knowing. I just feel like if you have that much plastic surgery, you're open about it. And yes. you cannot be not open about it. Does you have any plastic surgery? That's for me to know and for you. <laughs> Walking out of the plastic surgery. Oh, what did you get done? I'm looking for something. Who said I got anything done? <laughs> What made you ask? <laughs> I could care less, and you know, it's it's up to the individual, you know, whether you want to tell your story or not. I could care less, assuming like I don't give a damn what other people think. Why did you get all that then? You fill your face up, hey, you got your face done. That's none of your business. But you wanted to get your face done. So that other people could look and be like, oh, I like what you did. If you were the only person on planet Earth, you wouldn't get no plastic surgery. Yeah, because it sounded a little bit too personal. Yeah, everyone calls me the walking doll lady, but... I don't care. I'll be the first to admit, I'm cognizant that other people are looking at me, so I try to act a certain way because of other people, but some people can't admit that. Well, I think when it comes to celebrities and like influencers, like you should be open about, like, about your plastic surgery because I think that people like, especially like when they're- She's like, yes. <laughs> she walks over. Yeah, you're right. Plastic surgery doesn't hurt that bad. 
My recovery honestly wasn't that bad. They, everybody told me you're gonna be in so much pain. I was fine. I'll tell you the worst one was the tummy tuck. Tummy tuck was worse than my SRS, everything. It was SRS sex reassignment surgery. Oh, okay. Because they cut your stomach and they lift the muscles. My surgery plays a part in unrealistic Good question. Like, people are usually not born with perfect boobies or yeah. perfect anything, so it definitely does. It's not just plastic surgery, it's the fillers, it's the Botox. Yeah. It's well, what's perfect? So in their head, like, I need to be perfect, so I need to get bigger boobs. Well, who said bigger boobs are perfect? Where'd you get that idea from? How would you feel about the argument of, like, there is objectively attractive and objectively conventionally unattractive? You would agree with that, like, Yes. Yeah, but not perfect. Yeah, perfect, I mean, who's yeah, perfect? Nobody's perfect. Us, yeah. other than that. Other than us. Men are attracted to larger, that area, cleavage area. Chest, yeah. Men are attracted to that from a biological standpoint. It means that uh, the, the woman is like a better caregiver. Care, uh, able to breathe. Nurture, nurture, nurture. So then the man thinks in the monkey brain, oh, that's a healthy mate. And I would say girls are the same. Muscles, Muscles on a man. Protection. Ain't nothing wrong with saying that. Well, those things, beauty standards. And there's still someone for everybody. Mm -hmm. As that handsome as we are, not everyone likes us. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe. You could be the juiciest peach in the world, but not everyone likes peaches. Plastic surgery is a privilege. Plastic surgery is definitely a privilege because for a trans person, not all of them are able to access large amounts of money just to get a procedure. It's not a privilege. Anybody could have it. Really, to me, it sounds like only certain groups, certain, you know, of a socioeconomic group can get it, but anybody can get it. What a tone deaf statement. Anybody can get it. Anybody can get it. It's not a privilege. They can't. It costs money. It costs off. money and not everybody has a lot of money. Those <laughs> procedures are expensive. Some people overdo it with plastic. Ain't no, no, so much. You better get all the way. If you go to the point in which it affects your health, that is too much. But who are we to say, oh, that person is overdoing it? They, they know who they're talking about. No one's looking at her. They're all, who am I? Who am I to say that? Say it how it is. Yo, shit, look crazy. You overdid it. I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying you definitely overdid it. <laughs> I am, but. <laughs> You're well within your right to do it. You're allowed to do whatever you want with your body. Isn't anyone else allowed to judge you? I can't say I don't like that now. You can't expect everyone to love it. I've gone too far. I had liquid silicone injected in my body from head to toe. <laughs> she knows. She knows. And now I'm paying the price. I had it re taken out of my body maybe 50 times. Oh, shit. But they can't ever get rid of it completely because it's, it's plastic. I never understood why people call other people botched. I think that's really fucked up. They have a whole show. Botched. <laughs> that show's fucked up. No, it's messed up. Botch means, hey, you need to fix that. It looks messed up. Can't say that. Can't say that. You go into the doctor's office, hey, one of my things slid down here. Nah, that's fine. No, nope. body positivity. Guys, I'm saying I need to get them to on level. You look good how you are. No, no, it doesn't look right. That can lead to something even worse where you're surrounding yourself by people that aren't letting you know how it is. Yes, man. If I fill up my lips to look like Carl from uh, the episode of SpongeBob, Bob. why can we not call that? botched because it is no definitely what if i keep eating because i just love food and i get really really big and then you get diabetes and now you're in the hospital as long as i'm nice to you maybe the same people will be like oh i'm happy for you work it you look good well would you do that oh no i wouldn't do that i've met so many girls that have gotten all, all type of stuff and i'm like wait a minute you already look really good and you putting all this stuff in there for what nowadays you're not allowed to judge if you hurt my feelings you're the worst person ever i want the people around me to keep it a stack with me that's fair. Social media pressured me to get plastic surgery. Nothing could have like forced me to do it because it's something I wanted so bad. I literally don't give a shit what anybody like tells me about myself because I know who I am. Hell yeah. Wait a minute. The hypocrisy. Yeah. I have my boobs now, but like I don't even care what people think about me. <laughs> why did you get them? So I could look at the mirror by myself, just me in the mirror. Bro, that's why I get irritated when people say like, oh, I don't dress for anybody else. I dress to look good for myself. No, you want to have somebody compliment you and be like, hey, I like that on you. If you were the only person on planet Earth, you would You're not be doing that. Social media definitely gets pressured. Oh, everyone has big tits. It's cool to say, I don't care about anyone thinks. I care what other people think. That's okay to say. That's okay to yeah. say. I try to line up my beard check because I knew we were filming the thing so people were going to watch. I wish I could have got a haircut before I filmed. I look terrible and that's okay and I wish I looked better. Give your boobs back. Oh no. 
Mm. I'll keep these. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care though. When I started 40 some years ago, there was no internet. I just did it. It was my own obsession. I've been in the media a lot and I've done shows about plastic surgery before. She's been in the media a lot. Y'all seen her in the media? Mm -hmm. What was that new song? Oh, she's, she's a cool song. recording artist. And how did it go? <laughs> Um, no, she was on the, uh, she was on the episode of Spongebob. She was the pickle. <laughs> I feel like it's also hard to tell what is my own idea of beauty. What is influence from society and what is my own perception? Oh, you got plastic surgery because all the Instagram models made you feel like you needed it. But I really truly believe that there are people who just you know, genuinely like that appearance. I really feel like society plays a big role on people's beauty ideas. Like back in the 60s, everyone wore the same shit. In the 2000s, our middle school time, everyone wore Abercrombie and Fish, Hollister, Hollister American swoop, Eagle, swoop haircut, skinny jeans. Yeah, the times change and you just adapt with it. And now I feel like it's no different. Everybody's getting lip injections. That's the thing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In 10 years from now, what's going to be the normal thing? How much more can we modify ourselves? Mm -hmm. in the metaverse. Metafit. <laughs> you're just like fat and you're like on your sofa, but you're but your goggles on. My Metafit, fucking crazy. Probably you gotta get up sometime, dude. No, nah, no, nah. I'm having Metasex. <laughs> Metacourse. <laughs> Metacourse. I just met a bitch. <laughs> I got some meta neck. She was with my meta fit. I gave her this meta dick. <laughs> I am done. The results of my surgeries were exactly what I expected. The only surgery that I, that I didn't expect the results was my reassignment surgery. I didn't realize it would take almost like a full year to fully recover. You know, I don't have a mom that taught me that stuff. So I would always- well, it's hard. <clears throat> I can't yeah. even look at my pussy for a year. <laughs> that was uncalled for. <laughs> I got to my pussy for all year. Yeah, she was opening up. I feel like I was happy before, but I just put on um, like a real bra to go out the other night and like the joy that it brought me, like I literally almost could have cried because like it was something I wanted for so long. I was happy before and if they were taken away tomorrow, honestly, it would suck, but I would still be happy. I will still be there, it's okay. I'm alive, that's all that matters. Take them out right now. Well, Why'd you get them? People just be on like cap and trying to act like they're the most independent, most unaffected by everything. Rob, if you took away everything I had, I would be just fine. No, you wouldn't, sir. <laughs> that's right, I wouldn't. I'd be like, whoa, bring me back all my shit. It just sounds good to say that. All in all, we live in America. Yo, do what makes you happy. Mm -hmm. If you want to look like the blow up blimp, do it. Let us know what you guys think. So yeah, uh, love y'all. Peace. Bye. Do what you want.